Okay, in this video the idea was just to run through how much video we can now shoot with the new SSD functionality on the Panasonic GH6. So I did a video before about this on sort of how much you could fit on a standard 128 gig CF Express card and I'll leave a link above um, for you to watch that if um, you know you, you kind of want to see what the options are between the two. Um, so the way I've got the camera set up at the moment, I've just got a Samsung T7 Shield attached to the GH6, just using a um, a standard universal mount on the top of the camera. Uh, nothing kind of special there. And then I've got the camera mounted in the Black Mamba, um, the sorry, the small rig Black Mamba cage. And I'm just using the small rig cable clamp on the side and a bit of a crude kind of um, bongo tie situation just to hold the cables in a little bit. Um, I've got videos like on, on all of these bits and pieces that are kind of attached so I'll just leave links above for all of that that's not really what this video is about so um, they'll, the video is linked above and um, all these bits and pieces will be in the description um, all the links in the description will be affiliate links so if you click on them um, you don't pay any extra for the products but I get a few pence back um, and it just goes back into this channel so that's always really appreciated to be able to use SSD recording on the Panasonic GH6, you're going to need to have firmware version 2.2 or higher. So if you're currently on a lower version than that, or you've just bought the camera and you haven't done any firmware updates, um, again, I'll, I'll leave a link above um, for how to do um, firmware updates in general and how to get to the 2.2 firmware, which is slightly different to the other firmware updates. Um, and then you'll be able to quickly run through, get all of that done, and then you can kind of come back to this and you'll be able to do SSD recording. So on my camera at the moment, um, this drive, it's a one terabyte drive. So the largest you can currently, at the time of recording this, the largest you can attach to the camera is a two terabyte drive. So if you're using a two terabyte drive, you can roughly double the numbers you're seeing in this video and that's what you'll get. Um, if you plan on going the lower end, which would be, um, I believe the lowest at the moment is a 512 gig drive, um, then you can roughly half the numbers for this. So if we jump in now and we'll have a look in the camera. So we'll start off just in the photo mode, which, you know, I'm sure not a lot of people are going to be using with this, but let's take a quick look. So if we just jump in and we'll switch on the SSD functionality. And then you can see straight away, as expected, we've got over 10,000 shots in the camera. So <laughs> I, I can't really see anybody ever needing more than that. Um, but it's very likely that you know, you, you're know using this for video and you're gonna be using it for the high-end video resolutions, not just, um, not just the uh, kind of smaller formats. So with that said, with MP4, you know, these are our kind of eight bit modes. Um, they're all a lot smaller than um, the ones you'll find in MOV and ProRes, obviously. So if we jump in, you can kind of see, you know, I'm not really going to run through these because if um, we jump in to here, um, I'll take the the highest mode we've got. So that's 10-bit um, 4K50. Um, and you can see with that, you can shoot 22 hours and 11 minutes of video. So that's longer than any battery, you know, um, V-mount or internal or anything is going to last. So unless you plan plugging the camera in and shooting 22 hours of video, it's, um, it's a bit of a non-conversation really on that. And obviously, you know, the more you jump down, if you jump into HD, for example, this is HD 50 as well, or equivalent 60 on NTSC, you've got 78 hours of video. So, you know, it's, it's beyond... <laughs> beyond any need really but it's um yeah it's sort of useful to know it's there so in the moth modes we've got um or mov whatever you like to call it we've got um a lot of higher resolution modes so if we kind of come into here um you can see we do have the actually it's probably better if oh no we can do it this way um you can see we've got the limitation there of um, a lot of these are greyed out and that's because we can't shoot above 60 frames a second anyway in SSD recording. So we do miss out on um, some of the recording modes, but we've got, um, we, we do have some large modes in there. Like uh, if we take, uh, so our largest 
will be up this end of the camera. We've got um, 5.8K, so that's that's our open gate recording mode. So if we just jump into that, there's 25 frames a second. Jump in, you can see we can do 11 hours of open gate on a one terabyte drive. So, you know, that's gonna be over 20 hours on, <laughs> on a two terabyte drive. So that's pretty great. And then uh, we could come down into these. So 50 frames at 5.7, you've got seven hours, um, 25 frames, 5.7K, seven hours, 40, 4.4K if you want to shoot that at 50 frames. Uh, we've got about seven and a half hours there, 723, uh, C4K in um, 50p. We've got two hours 46, so you know that, if you're planning on shooting um, in some of those modes, it might be that for you the um, the two terabyte drive actually is the better choice because you know, going through um, through a day of shooting, you, you're you gonna need more than that if you plan on shooting the uh, some of these higher, higher kind of codecs. If you've got um, things like uh, long gop is, slightly less intensive on the drives than all intra so if you're shooting all intra then you know you, you possibly are going to need a bigger drive if, if that's what you shoot with all the time so we've got three hours 41 on the next one uh, so that's c4k 50 um, and again if we if we do that in long gop which is the, the kind of next one here you'll see we'll, we'll get a lot more out of it so we can get 11 hours out of that when we're not shooting in the in that all intra mode so that's a bit more uh, a bit more realistic, you know. If um, you want the um, the one terabyte drive, then yeah, that that's suitable for that. Um, and then if we again, you know, these are all kind of um, they're all kind of long got ones, so we get a good time out of these. Uh, 11, 11 and a half hours out of that. Um, two hours 46 out of um, all intra C4K 25 frames. So again, you know, if you plan on shooting those kind of modes, it's quite possible that you are going to need to um, get that bigger drive. Um, if for me, I'm I'm not shooting in those modes all day long, you know, doing a whole day shoot in, in those modes. So for me, the, the one terabyte, uh, yeah, the one terabyte drive for me is going to do the job, but you know, Having a two terabyte drive doesn't cost that more, much more when this drive, I think, was probably, um, it, it was just over £100 and the um, the two terabyte drive is roughly double that. I think it came in at about 190 but uh, like I say, for, for me, it's, um, it, it's it's not actually needed at the moment, so it's it's fine. Um, so C4K, 25 frames, again in long gop, so we're gonna get about 10 hours of this, or oh, 14, nearly 15 hours, so yeah, that's pretty big. Um, C4K, 25, again in 10 bit long gop, um, and obviously these are changing from 422 and 420, so there's um, there's differences in between each one, but you know, if you're, if you're seeing ones there that, um, you're planning on using, then it's, it's possible. This will kind of sway which way of, of a drive you go for, really. Um, so we're in all intro there, 422, 4K 50. And again, we get about two hours 46 out of that, so it's not huge. 4K 50, 422, and that's long gob, so we get three hours 41. Sorry, my cat's meowing out the door, I'm just gonna let her in. <laughs> Okay, and if we jump onto down here, we've got 4K50, 422 long gop, 11 hours. So here we're, we're dropping down into much kind of lower territory here, so it's not too much of a problem. We can, um, we can just jump down into these and they're not gonna be, you know, they're not too intensive for the camera in, um, in the one terabyte version, so. If we take a quick look at full HD 50 frames, and that's 422 all intra. If we jump into that, um, you can see we've even in all intra there. So if you're a HD shooter, you've got 11 hours there of footage that, that you can use even on the one terabyte drive. So that's going to be 
all right really it's just um those those 4k modes 4.4k and 4k are, are quite intensive um so we've got full hd 50 long gop um again 22 hours so it's getting into kind of you know it's that's more hours than there are in the day to shoot so not really a problem so the rest of these we're you know we're kind of all okay on so the next thing to do will be to jump into prores and then if we come over you can see we've got less prores options anyway so they don't take too long to go through so if we jump into this one 5.7k we only actually get an hour 23 out of um out of this mode so again you know if you want to be getting more video out of that you'll be needing to do that with the um the two terabyte drive um sorry so 5.7k uh 25 frames a second uh 422 that's going to be two hours and five minutes again you know these higher modes in prores you're going to want to be looking at getting the two terabyte drive really 122 in um c4k 50 422 hq uh c4k 50 422 that is about two just over two and a bit hours um c4k 25 frames 422 hq in prores two hours 45 which again is probably you know it's not really enough i wouldn't have thought for you know even if you're doing a half day shoot you'll probably be needing to dump the the hard drive off before then um so we've got c4k 25 frames 422 uh four hours a bit more a bit more reasonable um, and then again, once you get down to HD, HD um, 50 frames a second in 422HQ, you get um, nearly six hours. So that is, you know, to, for me anyway, that's that's a bit more suitable to uh, to this drive. Um, full HD 50 frames 422, and you get eight hours 48 out of that because that's um, uh, it's not in HQ. That's just uh, standard 422 so 25 frames obviously you should be getting nearer the eight hour mark on um on the lowest version of these uh so 25 frames 422 hq we've got 11 hours 44 so you know perfect for that uh full hd 25 frames 422 uh 17 hours 36 so you know if if you're just looking to shoot 25 frames full hd um the one terabyte drive is is going to be plenty really but just sort of be reminded that if you're coming up into um you know 4k and higher really probably the two terabyte drive is your best bet if you want to shoot the um in either pro res or all intra for um in mov so it, it's just kind of worth worth knowing that before you spend the money on a drive and think you know one terabyte's a lot um, which it is, don't get me wrong, like a, a terabyte is a massive amount of video to have to be working with. Um, and for me, it, it's fairly rare that um, I'm kind of quite lucky because the, the laptops I've got, I've got like quite a good MacBook Pro. I don't really struggle too much like editing any of the um, any any of the kind of formats that come out of the camera. They're all fairly solid and I, I don't usually need to need to make proxies or anything for it. Um, but I do occasionally get asked to um, shoot in ProRes um, as a sort of deliverable for people. So in those times, I probably would obviously be leaning towards a, um, uh, a, a two terabyte drive, you know, especially if they're asking for 4K delivery. But um, most of my workflow, like I say, I can get away with this kind of smaller drive and is a bit of a, a little bit less of an investment to start with if you want to just kind of start with SSD recording, because obviously they're a lot cheaper than the CF Express cards anyway in the first place. But, you know, it, it can still be, you know, it's another 200 pounds or dollars on top of a camera that already costs about 2000. So 
it's um yeah it's just something to bear in mind before you kind of go out there and, and start buying things um you know those lower modes for a lot of people they're going to be absolutely fine but it's it's just something worth considering so hopefully that's helped um if it did give the video a like and if you want to learn more about the panasonic gh6 and just photography and video in general then um, please consider subscribing to the channel